Hello girls, this is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. It's a French manicure with some silver. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to have to do is you're going to start with your bare nail. You're already wearing your hydrating base coat. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my nail art polish and we're going to do three lines in our nail using the white nail art polish. So I'm going to start by um, this side right here. So I'm going to start a little bit above the nail and I'm going to start going upward like that. And I'm going to bring it all the way across like that. So all I've done is a line. And I'm going to do three lines. I'm going to dip it again. And this time I'm going to do a line a little bit higher. And it's also going to be going towards the side like that. Okay, so we've done two lines. Now in between these two lines I'm going to do one in the middle. Okay. So very carefully I'm going to do a line in the middle as well. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to start working my way. Dip it again. start working my way all the way across very carefully. There we go. So I've done three lines. And it's nothing, um, the lines don't have to be exactly perfect because we'll be covering them with the silver a little bit later on. The next thing we're going to do is, we're not going to need the nail art polish again unless we mess up and we have to redo or give a little retouch. I'm going to get my white polish, get your white polish of your choice. And I'm going to do a French tip manicure on the bottom, all around the bottom area up to the first line. So I'm going to pretty much just follow the shape of my nail all around. Try to be a little bit uh, straight, but if you can't be, um, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because we're going to cover it up with the silver anyways but you can also use the tapes if you need a little bit more um, of a straight line. If you're a little bit more of a perfectionist when it comes to that then you can use um, you can use the ones with the tape, that's fine. So all I'm doing is I'm filling in the bottom line that we made. So we have a side French manicure there, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it again in my white polish and all I'm going to do is this top line we made, I'm going to fill in that top line. Okay, Just like that. So I've, now we have two lines left and we're going to fill those in with the silver. Okay, So I'm done with my white. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get my silver nail art polish and what we're going to do pretty much this in this step you can decide to do your to fill in your lines any color you want. I chose silver, but you can do pink, green, purple, any color you choose will look really nice. So I'm choosing the uh the silver glitter. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in those lines. Fill fill them in. Okay, filling them in on both sides. Okay, so there's the first one. Uh oh, it's too much. Okay, now I'm gonna fill in the second one very carefully. I'm gonna try to be very careful. Okay, so Glide your silver along, and I'm trying to get the. There we go. Okay, so we have that filled in with silver already. And I know you could be wondering why didn't I just do a white French manicure and then add the two lines? But I tried it that way, and it does make a difference taking your time and doing it this way because it gives it, I don't know, it's a different sort of dimension it gives it. But if you want to go ahead and try it because you think it will be a lot easier and you want to try doing just the French manicure and then ju just add the two lines, you can do that as well. And it's a lot easier. But like I said, just taking the time to do the two lines this way, it does make a difference. 
Next thing I'm going to do is around the smile line of the French manicure, which is why I said it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because we're going to we're going to fill it in like that, like you see there. I'm just going to go around and I'm going to fill it in, fill it in. All I'm doing is adding a line all around the French manicure I just made. The white where the white meets the skin or the color skin. Okay, so we have filled that in already. We're almost done. You guys can see it's a very easy manicure to get done. I'm going to get my rhinestone wheel because I chose the... Let me see if I could block it a little. There we go. You guys can see the three rhinestones there. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do next. Oops. I'm sorry, girls. Okay, let me see if I could fix you. Okay, that's what we're going to do next. So I'm going to move my rhinestone wheel to my clear rhinestones or whatever accent color you chose. Oh, that looks a lot better, I think, with the way the camera's fixed now. I'm going to get my clear polish. Any clear polish of your choice will do. And I'm going to just glop this area right here. And I'm going to get your tooth, get your toothpick or whatever you use. Let me fix you a little bit better. There we go. And I'm going to place the three rhinestones you see there. So I'm going to start with the top one. I'm going to place the top one right there. I'm going to get the second one. Let me dip a little. Okay. I'm going to place the second one towards the middle right there. And then the last one. I'll be placing the last one right there. Okay, so I'm just going to wait a while for that to dry and then I'll be adding my top coat and that's how you girls are going to get this look done. I hope you guys liked it. Try it out in your favorite colors and if you think doing the lines the way I showed you guys is too difficult for you then um, go ahead and just do the white tip and then just add the two lines. But it does make a difference girls. Um, like I said I tried it the other way and I liked it a lot more um, the way it looks like this. Take care, girls, and let me know if you guys try this out and what colors you used. Be safe, girls. Bye.